Oh, hello there, how's it going? Welcome back to Crafters TV. Uh, we have got a craft along for you for the next couple of hours, which is very, very exciting. All looking at the new silhouette stencils and stamps uh, that were recently launched. I know loads of you went, these, went for these, so we decided to do them as a craft along, uh, which is fabulous. They are available as well, I'll take you through that uh, in a little while. Uh, but it wouldn't be a craft along without a very special guest. And we've got one, Michelle's here with me. How are you, Michelle? I'm very well, thank you. You're looking very, yeah. you're ready for a party by the looks of it. I am. I am. It was it was our beautiful Nicola's birthday today, so we've all just been singing happy birthday. She's not been sharing any cake, but um, so I'm, I'm I'm in the I'm in the party mood. Oh well, fabulous! <laughs> what way to celebrate? What better way to celebrate than with a craft along then? <laughs> so what are you making? <laughs> Sorry, I, I was just being given some stuff that I'd forgot to ask for. So um, me being organised <laughs> earlier just didn't last. John just John? was distracting you, wasn't he? It is, yeah, yeah. So what did you ask me? <laughs> uh, what are we going to be making and what do we oh, need? Oh, shall I show? Oh, I'll show you. So <laughs> we did rehearse, I promise, I promise. <laughs> We're going to be making this, so with those beautiful um, silhouette um, stamp and stencil sets. Beautiful. So I thought we'd, um, I always say that I never have time to finish off my blending properly, so I thought with this, uh, we can do it together, we can take our time and we can do it properly. Wonderful. So what do we need then, Michelle, if you want to join in? Okie dokie. So what you're going to need is you're going to need the Magic Is In Your Heart stencil and stamp set. Um, some white card, um, some black card and some purple glitter card. So you're going to need a black quick dry ink pad and a white opaque ink, ink pad. Um, and you also, so you're going to need in your water reactives, crushed velvet, fuchsia, orange, pine tree, parakeet, lemon tonic, oasis and ocean blue. Um, you're also going to need your midnight as well. Um, and then you're going to need your deco swirl frame die. And then the additional things you're going to need is so you're going to need your Gemini machine, um, your guillotine, uh, stamping platform, low tech tape, paintbrush, your ink daubers, um, some water, your scissors, tacky glue, ribbon and clear gems from your own stash and some either white gesso or your white opaque um, ink pad. Probably is that everything? So not much, is that it? not much. And the kitchen sink. Oh, okay, don't. I thought we had another, I thought we had another page then for a second. Uh, right, lots of you tuning in saying hello. Ben is back in the house. He doesn't miss a show of yours, does he, or Ben? He doesn't, no. 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 Uh, Pam is in saying hi. Mary Ann, uh, Janice, who else is here? Carmen, Georgianne, Ro, Brenda, Sharon, Theo as well, in from the Netherlands. Uh, this will work in the same way it always does. Um, Michelle will take regular breaks, so you'll have a chance to catch up should you need to. Um, also, recapping the stages as we go. Uh, but any questions that you might have, you can get them into me. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you are across on YouTube. Now, if you don't yet own these amazing stamps and stamps and stamps, stencils and stamps, what did you call them earlier? St st stamples. <laughs> uh, you can grab them right now, of course. They are a brilliant collection for you. They are all available individually, or on two for £22 or $26 as well. So you've got this one here. This is You Are The One. Uh, and again, it's a, you are getting a lot in here. So you're getting what? One, two, three, uh, four, five, six stencils in there, stamps, and then sentiments to complete that as well. This one is magic in your heart. Then we've got this one here, this lovely sort of nautical one, which is believe in yourself. The one here that Michelle used in the earlier wake up call, that is beautiful moments. We then also have as well, follow your dream with the beefy unicorn, as Michelle called it earlier. <laughs> uh, and then you've also got strength and love as well. So that's what you're going to receive, 56.99 or 66.50 if you want to go for that. You can go for them today and then once they arrive, you will be able to come back and watch this show back whenever you wish, which is fantastic. Now, it's not just Michelle and I here uh, this afternoon. Uh, we do have some very, very special guests. And firstly, uh, we're going to go and say hello to Gilmore. She joined uh, you, it feels like you were, it was just a moment ago, Gilmore, you were here talking <laughs> to me. Yes, and now you're back. <laughs> oh, uh, you? So good. Uh, really, really good, thanks. So glad uh, to have you back with us. For anyone that doesn't know you, Gilmore, whereabouts are you joining us from? Michigan. Michigan. Is it chilly there today? Chilly and snow covered, but it hasn't snowed recently. It's just whatever was uh, from a few days ago. Oh, are you feeling festive though? 
definitely getting into that mood. I it mean, it's it's so close around the corner. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is nearly here. It is nearly here, isn't it? Right, Gilmore, have you got all your uh, stuff gathered, ready for this craft along? Yes. Wonderful. Yes, and I'm well, ready to go. I'm going to be dropping back in on you really, really soon. Uh, we also have the lovely Pam with us as well. Pam, how's it going? It's going great. Oh, so glad to have you back on the show. Are you all set for Christmas? Uh, except for some stocking stuffers, yes. Oh, glad to hear it. Uh, um, you're going to be joining us as well. Uh, have you got everything you need ready to go? Yes. Fabulous. Right, we'll be dropping back on, on you very soon. I love it. I'm always blown away by how well organised Pam's crafty sash yes. is behind her there. Uh, it really, really fabulous. Apparently, though, she has warned us that it looks a bit different from the other direction. <laughs> Just about getting the right angle, Pam, isn't it? Uh, right, if you're ready, Michelle, I think everyone else pretty much is. So take it away. Fabulous. Right, let's go. So um, straight away, we're just going to need a piece of white stamping card and you're going to need your Magic is in your heart um, set. So we're going to take that out and we don't need the stamps yet, so we're just going to put them to the side and, oh, this is all look lovely and fresh out of the packet. So we're going to get these bits out and we don't need those bits yet, so we'll just move those to the side. My little, um, so we're going to use the little cloud a little bit later and we are going to use those as well. Um, so, do I, I'm, I'm just debating which one I want to start with first. So we're going to start with this one. But again, what I'm going to do is tell you what we're going to do. We're going to use this one first. So this is, so you've got these two stencils in. You've got sort of your negative and your positive and it's the ones with the actual trees on that we're going to use first. So I'm just going to keep my card as an A4 for now. And then this one here, I'm going to just place it underneath with, uh, let me just move that. So I'm just going to place it underneath, decide where I want my sun. And I'm just going to, so adjust this top piece. So I've just got a few of the branches. So you, you just, you put it wherever you want to. I'm going to place that round about there so I'm going to leave that bottom one on and I'm just going to move that top one for now and we're going to go in with this so straight away I'm going to bring in some my oasis and my ink garbers so we're just going to lightly do you sort of do I'm going to you sort of do it in layers I'm going to lightly do it in the oasis for now and then we may go back in a little bit later um, and add to it, which is brilliant because you can, because we've got the stencils, we can um, lay back over if we want to. So I'm just inking up my darber. So, right, so I'm just going to go in lightly with this um, and I'm going to go around the outside to start with. So, just round that outside. I want it darker there than everywhere else. So I'm just going to take off a little bit of ink and then really lightly I'm just bringing that in and I'm going to take my time this is the nice thing about this one I can take my time with it you can follow along and I can complete it properly so I'm just going over the middle bit uh, with a lighter pressure than I did around the ed edges and as you can see it gives you that a uh, smoky, misty effect. So I'm quite happy with that. So let's just move that away for now. And there you go. So, so that's that bit. And then we're going to bring this bit... The, oh, still can't speak. <laughs> I'm going to bring this bit back in. And that's going to go there. But actually, because what I'm going to do now is ink that beautiful coloured background, and I don't want to go over that, going to bring this one in and again like I did before I'm just going to bring my dotty tape pen in uh, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the back and I'm going to cover that so I'm just going to cover that up so I don't ink over it with the colours that I'm going to go back on with and then I'm going to place that down exactly where I want it to go and then I'm going to tape it down I'm going to give it a really good taping down all the way round because I don't want it to move at all if it moves, is that it pretty much game over? Uh, not really. Um, 
depending on how much it moves and if you've gone underneath your branches and things, um, if you've m m made a total mess of it, then yeah, game over. Or if you're a bit of a perfectionist, <laughs> yeah, game over. Um, but I find it just taking that extra time to just give it a, an all nice round taping down um, saves you ruining a piece. Uh, as always, any questions you've got, get them into me, Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion. If you're across on YouTube, and I'll pop them across uh, to Michelle. Uh, I mean, stony silence in the comments at the moment. <laughs> Everyone is very much concentrating. Right. So this is where we're going to bring all my ink pads in. So I've got an ocean blue, a fuchsia, um, lemon tonic, orange, parakeet, um, spring meadow, crushed velvet and a partridge in a pear tree. So we've literally got mm. lots there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm sort of going to start with my crushed velvet and I'm going to go round the tops. And again, I'm using these because I find you've got more um, control with these uh, with regards to, because you, you've got all these branches there and you don't want to be, you don't want to be going under them. You just need to be taking your time and being careful. So I'm just going to get the right darber. I'm going to ink it up. So I'm sort of inking it up. I know it sounds daft. I'm inking it up and I'm taking it off. Because for okay. one, I want to make sure I've got enough on but I don't want too much on, if that even makes any sense. Because um, you can always go back in and make it darker, but you can't take it away. So I'm inking it up just to make sure I've got ink everywhere and then taking off. And then I'm just going to gently, just from wherever you feel comfortable and confident in starting, but I'm just going to start up in this corner and I'm going to, I'm going to have a piece of um, kitchen roll with me because you've seen before, I get my fingers inky and everywhere. So when I'm holding it down, I'm going to hold on to this to make sure that I'm not putting my fingers in the ink. So, and I'm just going to put my finger on the stencil there and then I'm just going in. And I'm just round that edge. And then It's mesmerising what she does. Yeah, I love watching people do this. Wow, Jane El Safti is en route from the south of France to England, stopping overnight in Champagne. Oh, wow. lovely. Have a glass for us, Jane. <laughs> yeah. The, the, um, I wonder how she's travelling. Oh, by train, I think. The Wi-Fi must be better on the trains in France than it is uh, here in England, then, in that case. Oh, definitely. If you can watch it on the train, Jane. I've tried a few times, and it, yeah, it's not happening. Not having it? Definitely not. And then also when you're on your train... Your, your signal doesn't really work because you're moving, does it? No, I know. It's, a it's a, And even if you log on to the train's um, own internet, it always tells you you're logged on without internet. And it's like, well, what's the point of that then? <laughs> Why do I want to be logged on without internet? So I'm just... I've got quite, um, quite a lot of ink still on there, so I'm taking some off. Uh, and I'm doing it on there because I want to make it a little bit lighter now. So coming out from that dark edge... I'm going, to go in with, I'm going to go in with a lighter pressure and less ink. And as you can see, it's done exactly what I wanted it to do. If you want the daubers, they are also available as well. On the bottom of your screen there, uh, you get 40 daubers. 24.99 or 32.99 is your price on those. These are invaluable for stencils, definitely. I find you've got more control with them because they're smaller. So she's I'm taking the Channel Tunnel, apparently. I wonder oh. if she's driving. Have you ever driven through the Channel Tunnel? No. I think like you, you drive your car onto a train. It's magic, oh. honestly. It's the strangest thing. No, never done it. Highly recommend it. Uh, a glass or two she's going to have. Why not have a bottle? It's Why not? Christmas, Jane, at the end of the day. There's only two glasses in a bottle anyway, isn't there? Is there? <laughs> There's two mm. Michelle glasses in a bottle. Yeah. Oh, we're not talking about pint glasses. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's, um, yeah. I realise, by the way, because you think a bottle is loads of wine, don't you? Yeah. It is only three large glasses yeah. of wine in a bottle of wine. It's not that many large glasses, is it? See, why, why even waste time pouring it? Just put a straw in there. <laughs> Obviously drink responsibly. Don't spill it. Of course, no. <laughs> Love it. 
So what I'm doing is, where I've gone lighter, I'm just making sure that that line between the dark and the light is blended in. So I'm just going to keep going over that until I'm happy that I've got a blend there that I want. I don't want to see that solid line between the darker. So I'm just going to keep going in. Not, not, not rubbing hard because I don't want to lift any of them branches up. And this is where you just take your time and you have fun and have a play. Um, it's Elizabeth Fallick's birthday. Uh, happy birthday. She's going downstairs to open her advent calendar yesterday and today. Oh. What control not opening an advent calendar on the I day? I know. <laughs> have you got an advent calendar, um, Michelle? No. No, me neither. And the thing is, if I had one, I don't think I could do it daily. I, I struggled when I was a child to open one a day. Um, so I can't even begin. I've got no control now. So, no. <laughs> Have you got one, Johnny? What one have you got? It's got a Galaxy one. Charlotte hasn't, I don't think. <laughs> right, so I'm happy with my, um, my purple, so my crushed velvet. So I'm going to move on to my fuchsia. And I'm going to do exactly the same. Before I go in with this, in fact, let me get a different one because I know that's got a bit of opaque on. So I'm going to load... I'm going to load it up. And what I'm going to do is on this, this side piece here, I know that sounds daft, but I'm going to take it off because for one, I want to make sure that there's ink all over, but I also don't want too much on. And you don't really know how much is on until you've done that. And I want to do that there rather than there and have a big splodge of ink. So I'm going to, again, so we, we're coming down. So I'm going to blend from the purple to this fuchsia. And I'm going in gently and lightly because I don't want a big... Um, dark ink blop yes blop i don't know what a blop is but we don't want one no, Doesn't so, sound good. <laughs> no. so just blending that purple out uh sue says just put a straw in there i like your way of thinking <laughs> rachel on social media superstar she's got the crafters companion advert calendar and it's been very good about opening it on the correct days make sure you're joining craig as well for his nightly uh, advent calendar inspiration as well i don't know if he's doing them as live now or as videos but i know he's putting them up uh, i know he's putting them up every single day he has gone back to scotland i believe so maybe they're videos now yeah so a few days left isn't there Gosh. it's not long is there it seems to just have, have flown from putting the christmas tree up in the studio <laughs> So now it just seems to When did flow. the Christmas tree go up? The beginning of November, I think, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Where has the time gone? So, fuchsia. I'm quite happy with that. I just want it sort of there and a little bit there and there. And again, just blending it out until you're quite happy with what you've got. And it's not a problem because once we've finished, if when we've taken it all off, if we want to go back into a little bit, we can, because you can just replace the stencil back on there. So that's my fuchsia. So I'm going to come in now with the orange. So again, my water reactive in the orange. And again, I'm going to sort of load it up, but then make sure I haven't got too much on there. And then I think for my orange, I'm sort of going to just sweep it at the sides there. So, and, and we've covered our moon or our sun with the, the template. So we know that we're not gonna go over that. And because these um, are loose branches on the stencil, I'm gonna dab because I don't, again, don't want to um, go underneath and bring that up. So I'm going over that line to blend in my pink to my orange. And I'm going to keep going over this until I've got um, it blended out nicely. So I love the reveal on these. When you lift the stencil up finely and it actually looks great. Because with your stencil on it looks a bit pants. But <laughs> you lift your stencil up and it just looks amazing. Sometimes I lift my stencil up and I think I did that. So again, at this side, I'm dabbing again because of those um, loose... If you wanted to, you could use one of our... Is it our stick and 
Stick and spray? I can never get it right, stick and spray. Yeah, you can use that behind your stencil to keep that stuck down. So I'm going over into the fuchsia to give that more of a blend coming down. And again, because it gives it a blend, it gives you that different colour. So you're getting more colours by blending two together as well than just the ones that we're using. It's really comes together. Now. And also, they're not colours that you'd look at and think to yourself, essentially, they would blend together very easily, would you? No, they're not, no. You know, same colours of the same family, but they work very well. They do. They do. And it's just all from having a play, putting them down together and, and realising actually they really work or actually that doesn't. But you don't really figure that out until you do. Just have a bit of a play, have a bit of fun with them. And these stencils are perfect for that, they really are. So I'm just going back up there where that pink is. I'm just going to go over a little bit with orange just to add that extra um, blend. And again, because I'm dabbing. You're dabbing? Yeah, dabbing. Oh yeah, I can't dab. My daughter would kill me if I dabbed. Dab. Apparently that's not the cool thing in me. You know, the what? dabbing. Dabbing? Yeah. No. I do it all the time. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I do, which is why my daughter tells me off. <laughs> Apparently it. it's, not, it's not cool. I've never been cool, though. I've never purported to be cool. No, me either. Absolutely not. Right, so that's me with my orange for now. And so we're going to come in with lemon tonic. And we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to... Um, we're going to come a bit further down um, and, and as you can see I've gone further down at this side with the orange um, just because that's what <laughs> I liked that I, I thought it just looks nice and there's no right or wrong just have fun with it so let's take that off so I'm gonna just a little bit under there I think and again, I'm going to keep doing it until I've got a lovely blend between my orange and this yellow. And I've got it thick enough and laid up enough. So now you can see why I never, on our other shows, um, it would take me forever just to show you this. Um, because I like to take my time. I like to dab this way to make, sh dob, not dab. To make sure is it I've dobbing or is it dabbing? It's dabbing. It is dabbing, isn't it? It is dabbing. You, I was questioning my entire <laughs> today. <laughs> so again, I'm going over that blend line between the orange and the yellow. Or the line to blend it. It's very much like a colour coma, isn't it? Oh, I've just lost the ability to speak. Don't you worry, everyone is concentrating. <laughs> Gilmore and Pam are engrossed, it's fair to say. Oh, so I'm quite happy with that for now. So we're going to move the lemon tonic to the side. Um, and I'm going to bring in my spring meadow. So again, I'm going to get another darber. Oh, I don't have a spring meadow one. I'll have to use... Oh, I'll have to use the... A blank, is it a blank one? A clean one. So ink it up and again. All right, so. So starting from this side. And gently round that one because we don't want to go underneath them. It's so really enchanting this, I absolutely love it. And Mary Ryan is saying the colours are blending so beautifully. Four Holidays Designs as well says, look at those colours. Absolutely, they are really, really gorgeous. Uh, I know some of you will be crafting along live with us as well. Those of you that are, uh, make sure you send us pictures as well at the end of Craft Along. We'd love to see what you've been creating. But if you're not crafting along with us live right now, don't worry, you can uh, watch this back any time you like, which is fantastic. I think sometimes it's just nice to sit and watch sometimes, isn't it? Like a full project being made from start to finish. Um, it's um, 
I love watch. I love watching the craft alongs. I still watch them now. Um, when the others do it, I still watch the craft alongs. I remember, of course, you can um, watch any of our shows back forever, basically, uh, over on the website. They're all there for you, so you can go back. Uh, it looks very different now, some of the early ones. <laughs> it's crazy to see some of the older ones, um, how different and how much you've all changed. I'm, I'm quite fortunate there's no old ones of me on there yet. <laughs> So, making sure that I'm nice and blended and I'm happy with that. And if not, I can, like I say, I'll come back in later to top up if I need to. So, green, what should we come in with next? We'll do a tiny little bit of parakeet. And I do only want a little bit of this. I'm only going to pick up a tiny little bit on my darber. Um, Eve B says, I prefer eccentric to cool, so much more personality. I couldn't agree. Oh, absolutely. I don't consider myself to be very eccentric, but someone said to me the other day that they thought I was. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, uh, yeah. apparently. I, I definitely would use I that word. I'm going to Google the meaning of this. <laughs> Let's get a hard and fast definition. So here, where I've got a big expanse of space... I am okay to go back with the um, swirling movements. But where I'm going to go around these, I'm going to keep dabbing because I don't want to ruin it. Now I've, I'm loving the blend that I've got. So it says here, uh, a person of unconventional and slightly strange views and or behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> so in the nicest sense of the word okay so there we go <laughs> what's happening <laughs> sorry I'm just sulking now Michelle don't, don't yeah, mind me no that's what I'm laughing at <laughs> person who can be described as odd or unusual is another definition I just found here. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right with that. Normal's so boring. Oh, it's, it is. Normal's so boring. In fact, it's a, a word that I've told my children they're not allowed to use in our house. Normal? Normal. No. Because it, it's used in such a... I think it's used to make people feel like pants, really. When you're like, oh, you're not normal, or why can't you be normal? Oh, no. Do you know what I mean? And I, I always say to my kids that... That's words banned in our house. I'm very happy that you're not normal because <laughs> I wouldn't want you normal or yeah. for normal. You know what I mean? I think it's an awful um, word. I do, definitely. So I've brought my spring, spring meadow back in. And stinky I'm meadow, I thought you were going to say then. <laughs> oh, stinky meadow. Stinky John's got meadow. some baby wipes that are like that. Oh, he has. So um, where I've gone in with my parakeet and I had the spring meadow above. I'm going to blend it a bit, a bit further down because I like that colour of that blend. So I discovered that colour as I was putting the parakeet over the spring meadow and I think I'm going to bring it a bit further down. So just making sure that I get my blend nice. Um, Mariana is saying... Uh, Mariana's got a wonderful name. Mariana Britziu, Britziu, what a oh. great name, says OMG the colours are really up my street, Elizabeth Fallick um, says, now I'm confused because we've got Beth Fallicks haven't we, and Elizabeth Fallick, but it's spelt slightly differently as well, but the surname's spelt differently, but I find it, I find it, um, it throws me sometimes, Elizabeth says, thanks for the birthday shout out, I decided I was going to give myself a present a day, and craft as companions the best present to have daily, otherwise I'm not really good at holding back, treat yourself all the time, <laughs> you don't need to wait for an excuse, I completely no. agree with you Elizabeth. I love that. So I'm bringing my parakeet back in, because I'm just going to bring that further down. Sarissa thought she uh, could watch and finish 
Christmas tag crafting at the same time. She says, guess not. Bummer, I just cut through my magnetic mat. I'll blame it on Michelle. I wasn't paying attention on what I was doing with all those beautiful colours. Oh, no. It's okay. I'm happy to take the blame for that. So I'm going to go in with my ocean blue and I'm going to finish off at the bottom. And again, I think I need a clean one. And again, just at the side, it's almost like a palette that I'm, I've got at the side. Making sure that I haven't got too much ink on when I go in for the first um, time with it. So even though I've already done this, I'll, you'll probably find that when I take this off, it's totally different, which is another thing that I love about doing this, because it ends up looking, even though I'm going to use the same inks, totally different. So you get quite a unique piece of um, art by the time you've finished. So I'm just going to keep going in until I've got enough coverage on there that I want. How do you keep your dabbers organised for the right ink pads, asked Carletta. Um, well, I can, because I'm so used to our inks, I can tell which ones I've used for which. Okay. Um, but just put a little, a little, little stick around each one and put the, the name of the uh, ink pad that you've used. And if you've got a set for your water reactives, if you've got a set for your opaques and set for your quick dries, um, do exactly the same. Have them in the same... Have them in the rainbow order, um, have them looking all pretty, and just stick a little, um, just to stick a little name tag on each one is the easiest way, um, and it's fun. Am I the only one who likes to print stickers out and tag everything up? It can't just be no, me. I think other like little love name that. tags on everything in your craft room and kitchen. That's half of the fun. <laughs> So I'm nearly, I'm nearly happy with this. So I'm, I think I'm happy with where I am at the minute. Shall I do a reveal now or shall we have a break and then do a reveal? Um, what do you I think? Don't, I think we should reveal now. So no one's got any patience, we'll do it now. No, exactly. <laughs> So, I'm going to take my tape off really, really, really slowly. <laughs> going to build up that excitement for you. And really, it's just because I can't see where it is, because I've inked over it. So, let's get that piece there. But again, mm. I put this on so carefully, I made sure that it didn't go over into my main image um, when I was taping this up. Oh, the suspense oh. is building. <laughs> it's killing me. Oh, I can't even find that piece. You know when you can't see for looking? Oh, there it is, look. I say, how does that even work? You can't see for looking? Is that one of them old sayings that never made Doesn't any make sense? Doesn't make any sense, is it? But we all still say it. Right. Let's just... Oh. Whoa, look at that. And then if I just lift that up, there we go. So that's Incredible. where we are for now. Absolutely amazing. I think we might need to give people a little bit of a break then to get yeah. uh, caught up, which is fantastic. Um, Carrie Spearman says, does anyone know how long the winter sale is going on for? I don't think I do. I wonder if Johnny knows. Don't know exactly, but into the new year, I would imagine. Um, but don't forget as well, on the winter sale, up to 70% off selected lines and also new products being added every single day. So make sure you are checking back over there as well. I'll quickly recap um, for you exactly what you're going to get. If you want to go for these, uh, then what you're going to get included. These are the six designs. Lots of stamps in here. Si um, the silhouette stamps. You've got the sentiments in there. And then you've got all the stencils as well. So you've got you're the one. This one is magic in your heart. You've also got the believe in yourself. Beautiful moments. You'll get follow your dreams. And you'll also receive strength and love as well. 56.99 of 66.50. Right, we're going to give you a little bit of a break to get yourself caught up. Here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome.
welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Right, lots of you uh, catching up there, I think. Should we go and drop in on our uh, special guests? We've had a few teething problems, and uh, we have left, lost them uh, momentarily, but I believe they are back. Let's cro... Oh, oh. It feels like Eurovision. Uh, <laughs> Michigan, who do you have your 12 points, please? Uh, no, we're not going to go to Gilmore just yet. Are we going to go to Pam? Are we going to go to Pam? Are we going to go to Pam? Potentially. Wait, hey, there she is. Oh, oh, Pam, these techie gremlins are sent to test us today. I think all of our computers must be on a holiday time already. How did you find that first section? How are you getting on? Uh, it was good. It was just the way I would do it myself. Fabulous. So I'm glad to hear you're keeping up. Uh, I'll drop back in on you uh, again very, very shortly. Uh, are we going to go to Gilmore? We're not going to. Oh, no, <laughs> she's, not, she's not fine now. OK. We'll come back to Gilmore moment, in a moment, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, Right, let me tell you about this as well. Another great way of using stencils uh, is uh, this. <laughs> it is funny, when, uh, when the Skype feed pauses, it very often pauses in <laughs> the most uh, <laughs> strangest positions. Uh, right, let me take you through. 
Whew. Let me take you through this, the craft box. Craft box number 43 here for you. Great value. If you wanted to have a go at these kind of techniques that um, Michelle is taking you through, this would be a great way to do it. Because in here, what you've got, 10 stencils. You know, should I open it up for you? 10 stencils are in here. Ooh. So, I'm not allowed the overhead, apparently. I'll do it this way. Oh, we're going to have the overhead, okay. <laughs> so, uh, what you get in here, what you get... <laughs> what you get in here is, uh, you get <laughs> all of your different ribbons in here. You're going to get your card blanks as well. You've got gems, silhouette stamps in here too. Uh, and then these card panels, so you can ink up onto these. They're all, uh, lovely watercolour card stock. You've got um, sentiments in here too. Let me share those with you. Uh, so things like, uh, once upon a time, Christmas cheer, have a magical day, uh, embrace your inner flamingo, ding dong. Uh, and then uh, all your different card blanks in there too. Uh, and more of those watercolour panels that we looked at. Envelopes are, are plenty in there too. Um, you've got 18 card blanks and 18 envelopes in here. And then you've got all of these um, stencils in here for you too. Then you're also going to receive in here all of your coloured card stock, your um, plain card stock, and also uh, your printed card stocks uh, in there as well. Amazing value for money. The other great thing about them is as well that you've got full video tutorials over on the website too. So pop well, not on our website, you need to go to the specific craft box website. So it's crafters companion box dot com is where you go to and there you will find all of the info you need right gilmore's back in the house let's see if we can pop ourselves across to michigan now and have a catch up with gilmore how's it going gilmore pretty good ah oh, fabulous uh let's have a little look oh wow do you see that michelle I look at that quick flash oh love it loving that gilmore yes. how are you finding it so far i love stenciling ever since i got the uh crafters companion stencils and it's it's fun it's oh. a lot of fun well i'm glad that you are enjoying it i'll drop in on you again very very soon um lots of you chatting away uh, just one card maker says i want this box it's so pretty it's a pretty box isn't it right i think we are good to uh, push on with the next section if you are michelle absolutely i'm ready i'm ready let's go so we're going to bring in um our other piece of stencil which goes just over there so we're going to cover up the inking that we've done with this one and tape it down and then this is where we're going to go in with our black so again i'm just going to take the time to um, stick this down nice and securely so trying not to stick myself to the stencil and again, so because it's quite, um, you only have that thin piece at the bottom, I try to tape as much of that down as possible. Um, just because I don't want it to move, it doesn't matter if I go over it because it's going to be cut down in the end. Um, but you can see I've already moved it a little bit. So just take that time to stick it down. So there we go. And it's still moved, it's still not playing. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to lift that piece up. Try again. There we go. So I've got so much tape on each finger now, <laughs> you can't do anything with it all. There we go. So... How, you, how come you have to be quite careful with the tape here then, Michelle? If you don't get it in the right spot, is it going to cause you a bother? It is, because you want this stencil that's on top to cover um, all that's already inked. So if you're not going to tape it firmly down, it's not going to ink where you want it to. You're going to end up, unless that's what you're looking for, unless you, you know looking for a bit of a shadow. But I just want to make sure it's exactly where I want it to be. Um, for one, I, because I'm going to go back over with the, the black, I want to make sure that it's nice and firmly in place so I'm not lifting it up or anything like that. And like I said, this one's quite a bit more flimsy. This, uh, that bottom piece there is such a thin um, piece of plastic, so you need to make sure that it's nice and firmly down. 
and then so I've got my quick dry um, just in the black so I'm just going to do exactly what we did before I'm just going to ink all of this up um, with those dabs again for most of the part because we don't want to lift the stencil up and go under it so as you can see you do need to go over it quite a bit to get unless you want in obviously that more misty mystical look but if you want more of a, a defined black you definitely just need to keep going over until it's to the the blackness the darkness whatever the word um, that you're happy with but once I've gone over this with the um, black uh, I am going to go in so with the midnight on top of this so the black is sort of the base so is the midnight darker or lighter so the midnight is a blue right oh, okay um and it just it give it gave me so if i bring in the one that i did before um you can see it's got the black but the hint of blue on top so the black gives it a nice black base <laughs> as daft as that sounds and then the midnight just it highlights it it gives it almost that hint of you know when the 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 light's just coming through and it hits it and it's not quite a black black that you can see it's that not black that you can see <laughs> you all know what I mean yeah well I get it I get you any questions you've got anything you're unsure of you can of course drop me a line uh, Crafts TV on Facebook Crafts Companion over on YouTube um, uh, Thea just talking about the boxes they just got this one they absolutely love it um, Panda Crafts says, I have this set as one of my Christmas presents for my mum and dad. Can't wait to use it. I will save for future. How very exciting. I wonder who's going to be doing some crafting over Christmas. Hope you'll all be finding some time to escape your uh, relatives and your in-laws and uh, <laughs> take yourself off and do a bit of crafting. I think, um, I don't think uh, many people won't be getting something crafty for Christmas. Mm. I know I probably will be. It's funny because even though do I do... Do you and Ben ask for things from each other or do you just surprise each other? Um, ben surprises me. Right. I mean, I hint lots or, I'll, you know, he listens when I say, oh, I like that or, oh, I'd like this or, oh, I need a new so-and-so. Um, so I've hinted that I need a new purse because mine's a bit... It's a bit old and... Um, pants. <laughs> Pants. <laughs> okay. It's rubbish. Ben. It's old. Uh, just let me just have a look. Ben, if you uh, haven't already, <laughs> then she wants a purse for Christmas. So that's her hinting, okay? Sorry, as you work. <laughs> that did sound really weird. So I'm just, I'm just literally just going over, just making it all nice and black and um, losing myself to the stenciling. Uh, remember as well, another fantastic show coming up here today for you later on Crafters TV. Myself uh, and Michelle are back. We are back with uh, the launch party, 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. on the East Coast. Big day tomorrow, uh, my last day of the year tomorrow. Um, I'll be here with myself and Michelle. We have Wake Up Call, and there's another craft along, I believe it is, isn't it? With I you do. And I. It's Debbie Robinson craft along tomorrow. No, no. No, it's Michelle. See, look, I do. It's yeah. me tomorrow, Johnny. It is uh, Michelle again tomorrow. So wake up, call Michelle, and then, of course, uh, craft along with Michelle in the afternoon, this slot again. And then it is uh, myself and Sarah for that UK warehouse clearance, which all of you can shop <laughs> from, which is exciting. Uh, Debbie is here with Becky all day on Thursday. They will have wake up, call craft along, and then a very special edition of Play Crafts Right, a Christmas party special, which will be Ooh. exciting. 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. on the East Coast. Make sure you join them both for that. Oh, yes, the the craft, uh, the Play Your Crafts Right that we weren't invited to. Yeah, <laughs> we weren't happy about it. No. <laughs> you'll see, if you watch us, Craft Companion social media tomorrow, you'll see uh, we just filmed a little piece of video, didn't we? <laughs> So I'm turning this round as I'm doing it. I find it easier to do that. Um, and I do it when I'm crafting a lot, even to glue things on. You'll see me 
um, turn it upside down. I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed or just awkward, um, but it doesn't matter. If you need to turn it round to get exactly where you need to then, um, I do find it helps. So, still dabbing, just layering up uh, as I'm going to the depth, the depths of the deep dark blues, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> to the depth of blackness that you want. See, because I'm, cause I'm concentrating, just random stuff's just falling out of my mouth now. <laughs> It's like an insight into your craft room at home, Michelle. <laughs> do you talk to yourself when you craft it at I home? I do. I do, because the kids come in and they'll, they'll say, well, what did you say? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm talking to myself. You're all right. And I sort of get the eye roll and the laugh and they just walk away. <laughs> Don't forget as well, we're on Top Tick now, as I call it, or TikTok. Top Tick. Uh, the new video went on today with yours truly, so uh, make sure you go and give that a like later. I can't tell you what it is, uh, Charlotte. You have to go and watch it after the show and find out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this was Charlotte's response. Mm. <laughs> oh, bless her. So nearly at the end, but I'm not. Is there anything to stop you taking your ink pad and like squishing it in the um, squishing it in the over the stencil? You could do. You could squish it over the stencil, but it's not really going to work. Right. Okay. Um, it's just you have to be so careful because you've all got all those little delicate pieces that will lift if you put too much pressure on, which is why I I use this dabbing technique. I mean, other people might do it totally different to me. But for me, I find this the easiest. It, it takes a little bit longer, um, but I just find this the easiest because I don't want to um, accidentally go underneath those with the, the, you know, twisting action or anything like that. So I'm happy when I'm doing this. And, and it's just so enjoyable, just going back over, getting it however you want it. It's one of the, it's definitely, it's just like colouring. It's so mindful, you just going on and over until you're quite happy with where you're at. Karen Wells says it helps to see me to see someone craft left-handed, as I'm left-handed too. Ah, fabulous. Um, Evelyn loves your sweater. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, and Anne Lee asks, what, again, what kind of ink it is you're using this for, for this technique? So for the coloured background, I used my water reactives, but for this, um, this black that I'm using, I'm using my quick dry. Um, in the noir black and then I'm going to go over with my quick dry in the midnight. Fabulous. So again, now I've turned it back round, I'm just having a look of it, um, look at it, and I'm just going to go back over where I want it to be darker. And again, I know this, this takes a little while, but when, I mean, you saw with the reveal before, once you do that reveal, it's so worth it. And the thing is, our stencils are quite intricate. And um, when you're working with an intricate stencil, you just have to take your time. That's just how it is. But like I said, it's very much like when you're colouring. You just sort of lose yourself in it. It's quite mindful. And I mean, you could do this kind of technique I'm guessing with a whole host of different stencils that you might already have, Michelle. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And like I said, if you use the spray and you use that to spray it down with, um, you know, then you maybe don't necessarily have to be as careful as me. Um, I don't, when I'm using layering stencils, so I've inked my background up and then come in with this second stencil. Now, if I sprayed this st second stencil on the back and placed it down, um, once you lift it back up, sometimes you will find that some of that sticky will stay because I've already inked it, Okay. Um, which is why I don't use that. But I think, again, I think it's all just personal preference. Some people will 
find that they don't have that problem. Maybe I spray too much on. <laughs> Not that I'm heavy handed or anything like that. So I think I'm quite happy with that. So then are we, do you think we should have a break there before I go in with the blue? Let's have a, let's have a, little, let's have a little break there indeed. Uh, let me share with you then, I've got some uh, card pads for you. Uh, these are fantastic. So we've got from the farmhouse, you've got the uh, luxury linen cardstock, which is this one here. It's got a real nice sort of texture to it, quite a fine linen texture, but adds a little bit of interest, which is nice. A really lovely bold colours all the way through that one. Uh, then what we've got here is our Everyday Bright. So this is your matte cardstock. This is in a 180 GSM. So really nice uh, all-round weight for you. And again, that really sings to me, those beautiful bright colours. And then we've also got the Bright in a 230 uh, GSM in the textured as well. And it's got a real so lovely sort of organic feel to it, this one. But again, some really lovely, bright, bold colours in there for you. Uh, 46.99 or 58.99 if you want to get that. I get 116 sheets in total there in that one. Uh, well now, I've got something exciting to share with you. We have got some Memento ink pads for you uh, on the show. I'm going to go through these colours for you. So you've got Dandelion, Morocco, limited on the Morocco. So, oh, what's saying on? Sukineko. Su Su Sukineko, that one, yeah. Uh, Sukineko Love Letter, Sukineko Rosebud. Uh, you've also got Angel Pink, Lulu Lavender. Sounds like a drag queen, doesn't it? <laughs> Sweet Plum, my men. Sweet Plum. Uh, Nautical Blue, Cottage Ivy, New Sprout. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Bamboo Leaves, Peanut Brittle, delicious. Oh. Desert Sand. Uh, we also have Toffee Crunch. Love these names. Espressi, Espr I'm guessing that's Espresso Truffle, that one it is, yeah, Espresso Truffle, London Fog, uh, and they are all different options for you, they're all priced individually at three ninety nine or five ninety five. quite busy for those across on the web, a lot of them are very, very low, uh, so do grab a hold of those, right Michelle, I think we're ready to press on if you are. Fabulous. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with our midnight quick dry and we're going to do just exactly the same. So I'm going to go back over all those black um, trees, that black silhouette um, with the midnight blue. So we're going to lose ourselves again. And again, I'm using this because I don't want to get um, ink everywhere, which I get inky fingers terribly. I'm Worse than a child that's just come home from infant school. And again, I'm going in with the um, dabbing action and I'm not doing it too hard because if I press down too hard, I'm going to end up with one of those. And I don't want that because then I have to spend... Oh, we don't want one of those. Um, I have to spend extra time then blending that out. And it's like I've said before, um, go in with a little bit and then if you need to add any more you can add it you just can't take away so just going all the way around losing myself <laughs> Just mumbling away, just you're all following. <laughs> I, you, I was thinking to myself, what difference would it make really adding black and then adding blue over the top? But actually it does, I can see why you've done it now, because I just thought, surely if you've inked it in black, then a blue over the top's not really going to show up, but it does. I guess where there's a little bit of the white still coming through, it yeah. does give you sort of lots of texture, doesn't it? It really does. And you'll see that no matter how perfectly I've laid this over, when I do take this off, it gives you, and I'll bring it in again and show you, it gives you that, um, I mean, you get the black and blue effect, but where my stencil's not quite um, hit perfectly, even though I've got it over there perfectly, um, just the nature of the stencil means that I get that lovely highlight, almost like um, moonlight hitting those branches. But yeah, it does, it gives you a nice base, does that black to go over with the midnight blue. And if I was just using the black, I would, go, I would um, go over it again and again until I got this kind of solid effect anyway. Um, but I just liked the effect that the blue gave when I used that. 
And sometimes it's just nice to use a different colour. You think it's of the silhouette and you think black straight away. But um, you don't have to. It's amazing how much darker the blue makes it, says Anne. Yeah, I agree, Anne. It really does. Molly says, hi, everyone. Uh, I've been working two jobs. I've been able to stop by recently. Hope everyone is doing well. I love this stencil set. Oh, Molly, it's lovely that you've been able to drop in. Uh, Myra wants to know when you would use the Memento ink pads, Michelle. Sorry? The Memento ink pads. When you would use those? Um, I can honestly say I've never used them. Okie doke. And the reason I've never used them, I know a lot of people do, but I love our ink pads and um, I started using these and these are the ones that I started collecting. So, but they're a dye, aren't they? The Memento, they're just a dye, they're not a pigment. So, um, I don't know if they're a water reactive or a quick dry, so. Um, Hold the line cooler. Yeah. They are a dye based ink pad indeed, yes. Okay, so the, are they like our quick dry ones then, or our water reactors, or are they a totally different one altogether? Uh, they're water resistant. Oh, water resistant? Mm. Oh. So you wouldn't use them like I do our water reactives then, would you? Because I use ours with water um, to blend and, and sort of paint with, so you wouldn't be able to do that at all. I will be able to say in just a second. <laughs> Now, if Jan was here, um, if oh yes, if you're watching Jan, let us know. Uh, so it's water resistant, so you can uh, watercolour over it and it'll work almost like a resist. Ah, oh, I see. Whilst it is also alcohol marker compatible at the same time. Oh, perfect. So, so it's, it's a bit like of a hybrid a, it's then. It's a bit of a hybrid one, yeah. So whereas we would um, heat emboss our opaques to get that um, resist effect, that just does it as it is. And the thing is, um, I love our ink pads and um, they cover all my needs, all my bases. Knees? Needs. Oh, no. sorry if it's knees. <laughs> don't get them on your knees. No, no, don't do that. So, yeah, so it's, it's something that... I don't know, um, I've just never, when I first started collecting my ink pads, before I was even on RDT, it was these ones that I first got. What ones did you start with? So I, um, I got one of our alcohol proof, just in the black to start with, and it, uh, you know, obviously it stamps out beautifully. And then I got um, a pack of the, so they come in like packs of three, don't they? You get like your colour family, and I mm. got the red, the orange, and... Uh, I'm not sure what other, and I just loved them. They, um, you've seen me um, put them on my um, glass mat and paint with them, and blending around my edges. So that was that was enough for me to think. Actually, I'm going to try some more. And then I tried our quick dries. Um, so yeah, so it's nothing. It's something that I've always used. I've always used these. I've always been happy with them. So I've never really ventured into buying other ink pads. Fair enough. But I know there's lots of people out there who like um, them all, like collect them, don't they? <laughs> I think very much like Jan, she uses lots of different yeah, ones, doesn't she? Yeah, she's got loads, isn't she? Uh, Mary Ryan, I'm saying, loving the mix of the black and the blue together, Michelle. Very clever. Oh, thank you. So, again, I'm still just doing that dabbing action. As you can see how, so, well, from, so from just doing the black there to adding that blue on top of it, you can see how different it makes it look. And this is, again, so mindful. Just watching someone do it, let alone doing it yourself. You sort of lose the ability to speak. Yeah, it's almost tr it puts you into like an yeah. inking trance. Yeah. Yeah, as you've noticed, you just sort of mumble <laughs> nonsense. Nonsense just falls out of your mouth when you're mumbling away. So there's a time you start thinking to yourself, what shall I do the kids for tea? Well, I can't do them the same because they never eat the same. Oh, you're not a separate tea household, are you? Um... 
I am. Are you? Yes. It's quite controversial, controversial, isn't it? Oh, I just don't think I could find the time. Well, I don't cook, Ben does. Oh, there you go, that's why. <laughs> if it was me, it'd be like, you eat what you're given. <laughs> <laughs> no. The, thing, the problem is the kids don't like the same kinds of food, so I'm not going to sit them down to the same meal and mm. expect them um, to eat it. Um, but when we was younger, you sat down, your meal was put in front of you. If you didn't eat it, you didn't eat. Yeah, same. But, um, yeah. That's what Johnny's all up for. He's game for that in his house, but um, yeah. Yeah. Jenna says no, separate meals. No, I, I don't mind so much. I just keep thinking. Just give them a Swiss roll straight from the freezer, Johnny. They'll be fine. <laughs> this was, uh, Johnny got in after a few, uh, a f on a Friday night after a few beers once. And was it half or all of a... Oh, it wasn't even after a few beers. He'd been in here doing a shift. <laughs> He'd had his dinner. He got home. Was it a whole Swiss roll or half? A whole Swiss roll. A whole Arctic roll just from the freezer. Just, just oh. ate it. Did you, you use your hands? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't even have any cutlery. Bless him. <laughs> a whole Arctic roll. Love that. <laughs> Do you know what I haven't had for ages, and I, I would love one. I'm craving one at the moment. It's a Vionetta. <gasps> oh, I, I love had a Vionetta. Yes. Oh, I love a Vionetta. I like when the chocolate. Shall I get a Vionetta for the test? Shall I get one from the supermarket this evening? Should we have one? Oh yes. They're only a pound apparently. Is that all they are? Oh, yeah. bargain. Right. So I'm quite happy with that. I think. Johnny says we best get two Vionettes if we're going to go and get a Vionetta. <laughs> sure, right, are we revealing? Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> Do they ha is that something they have in America then? I believe an Arctic roll is commonplace in America. I'm not sure. We'll find out in a moment when we go and speak to our lovely guests. Fab. So again... I've got my wet wipe next to me and my kitchen roll because I'm putting my fingers in all this ink and you know I'm going to get it everywhere. So one more, I think. Uh, oh, now I've got another one at the top. See, now I've inked it over it all, you can't see it. There we go. So, oh, I've got one more. Look, there we go. Amazing, absolutely incredible. Uh, it is worth the extra effort, isn't it's it? It's worth the black, taking the, blue over the black. The time, it absolutely is. Get that, get mm -hmm. that in the on the wall in the Louvre. That's what Johnny said. I'm quite uh, proud of that. Really gorgeous. <laughs> Who's, I'm well who, pleased with myself. Yes, you are, aren't you? I did that. <laughs> yeah, that is incredible. That is really, really good. I love that there's just a slight hint of white space as well yeah. around it. It's very clever to create that illusion. Yeah. Of the light shining it. against it. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing, Michelle. Let's go see Pam, shall we, and see how Pam is getting on. We need to ask Pam if they have Arctic rolls in, uh, <laughs> in the States. Are they a thing, Pam? I don't know what that is <laughs> so it's like uh, it's like a very thin sp sponge that's rolled up and it has like ice cream and jam in the layers oh that sounds good kind it of does. like a yule log or a, a pumpkin roll like a yule log but with ice cream and it lives in the freezer section johnny once ate a whole one uh, after <laughs> after work one evening that's what we were just discussing now i mean why not how did you find that particular section how did you get on with that pam good i'm a little bit messy but it's Oh, it's looking oh, fabulous. Look at that. Really, really gorgeous. Right, I will be popping in on you again uh, very, very shortly. Let's see how Gilmore's getting on. She, I, I could see the intense concentration, Gilmore, on your face during that section. Oh, wow. wow. That is fabulous. How did you find it? Loved it. Did you? Loved Excellent. It. Right, I'm going to let you reset then, ready for the next uh, section. I'll come back to you very, very shortly. Um, lots of you... Oh, says, I uh, don't know what kind of role you were talking about. <laughs> I'd say we don't have them, says Sue. 
Um, Roseanne says, my mother used to love a Vionetta. They had them in the US years ago. I don't see them anymore. They were made by Breyers, I recall uh, correctly. I think they're called, I think they're, are they wall, Walls make walls, them in the I UK. Think, uh, I think I might have to, I've got to go to the supermarket between shows, Johnny. I'm going to get a Vionetta. <laughs> um, Mary Ryder says, my wonderful aunt sent me free kalachi rolls for Christmas. What is a kalachi roll? Oh. It's poppy seed, walnut and prune. Um, <laughs> they are delicious. <laughs> I'd imagine don't have too many of them, is what I'm going to say. <laughs> be able to set your watch. Uh, Sue says uh, we have an ice cream roll like that. I haven't seen any with jelly in them, uh, though. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, don't forget about the main collection if you want to go uh, for these uh, stamps. <laughs> um, uh, let me take you back through with the ones you've got here in the collection. Uh, you Are The One is this one just here. So you've got uh, that lovely couple there, which is brilliant, with the uh, stencils as well. Uh, this one here is your uh, Magic Is Your Heart. Uh, then you've got Believe In Yourself with the dolphin, the mermaid, uh, the beautiful moments is this one here. Um, Michelle actually demonstrated this one in the earlier Wake Up Call show. You've got Follow Your Dreams in here and also Strength and Love as well. 56.99 or 66 50 uh, if you want to go uh, on those right I think we best uh, I think we can go straight back to it if you're ready Michelle yes I am just moving all my ink pads out of the way I'm trying to stay relatively tidy um, right so this is where we're at at the minute so what we're going to do is we're going to bring so our original stencil back in that covers the trees up so I'm just gonna just gonna cover that up like that and what I'm going to do is, so if you've got any white acrylic paint or um, some white gesso, or you can use, um, which I forgot to bring mine. So we're going to use the opaque pigment. So all I'm going to do with this, so it's, um, it's the faux bleaching, but you're not bleaching. What we're going to do is we're going to um, try and get a spray to the white rather than, so rather than taking away and you having that faux bleaching effect, we're going to, um, do the opposite with the white so it does work better with the white gesso uh, you get a more um, white <laughs> spray of ink on your pad uh, <laughs> but it works just as well with this so I'm literally just going to so I've got my, my water and my paintbrush I'm just going to mix it, pick it up and we're going to just splatter it with the white. And the reason I've put my stencil, I've just placed my stencil back on, is because I don't want any to go on my trees. I just want that um, white effect in the background. So just again, so just until you're happy with the amount of um, white that you've got on there, and I always find that when I'm doing this, I get the spray everywhere except for on my, <laughs> my thing where I want. So everywhere here, look, all in front of me is all covered in white paint. <laughs> oh dear. But that's part of the fun. It it's is like indeed. trying to find the bits that um, cleaning up afterwards. Apparently they have an ice cream roll, but it doesn't have jelly in. Does an Arctic roll have jam in it, or have I made that up, Johnny? It does yeah, have jam in it, I thought so. Well, Adriana says there's a pastry in Mexico called Gancito, which means little goose. There's chocolate covered cake with cream and jelly. I love them. They are so delicious when taken from the fridge. Uh, and Molly says, this is making me hungry. <laughs> it always goes back to food, if you always. notice that. Always does. It's because we have our meals right after the first two shows. That's why. Yeah, we do. So, with this effect, I will get some bleaching because some will um, give me a nice white effect and some will just take some of the ink off, which is absolutely fine. So just keep doing this until you're happy with those splatters on there. But like I said, with this being an opaque, you get a more opaque white splatter on there. I know that sounds like I'm stating the obvious, but if you use your white gesso or your white, white acrylic, you get more of um, an in-your-face white splatter on there, for want of a better word. So I'm just going to wipe that away. 
and then I'm just going to really gently lift this up without moving any of them. So on that, you can see that I've got some... <gasps> oh, it's not on your project, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, I mean, oh, sugar. Sorry. Oh, Oops. No. <laughs> oh, that looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. John. <laughs> right, should we go? Should we go? Should we, should we, should we, should we, should we let's go. I think we better have a quick break. John. <laughs> oh, oh no. no! My watch got caught on the. Um... Oh, right, here's a break. We're back soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters' companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> right, we've contained ourselves, haven't we? Shall I show them the project, yeah. Michelle? I mean, we've tried to salvage it. Johnny said it looks lovely. I mean, it's not. It's moody now. 
think with it for sharp. Yeah, absolutely. But there's, 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 uh, we're going to be able to save the day. Well, I say we, Michelle <laughs> is going to be able to save the day. She is, she's working on a, uh, she's working on a, uh, a workaround. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I want to just remind you about this, the amazing uh, box, which has got uh, the same styles of stamps and stencils in here for you. It's the Stencil and Silhouette Stamp Craft Kit. It's number 30, uh, 43, sorry. Remember what you're going to get in here, 10 different plastic stencils. You've got clear stamps in there, card blanks, card panels, envelopes, assorted ribbons, pearls, coloured card, and your printed papers uh, as well. Um, there's lots of, oh no, 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 it's coming in for you, Michelle. Um, Laura says, OMG, that happened to me last week. And I actually cried, so well done for not crying. Um, <laughs> That'll Cherry come says, later. Cherry says, Michelle, it happens to all of us. Uh, I'm also telling you, you are officially one of us now. Uh, I feel like there are straight stages of spills on projects. Stage one, shock. Stage two, panic. Stage three, rescue. <laughs> Stage four, recovery attempt. Stage five, acceptance. Where are you, where are you now? You're stage I'm, five. I'm at acceptance. We work very quickly through all of those stages. Um, four holiday says, I'm sure we're, uh, Michelle will make it look good. Only happy accidents in crafting. And um, Rhonda says, that actually looks pretty cool. I think, I, I think it does look pretty cool. But uh, if you want to go for the card, uh, the craft box, $24.99 wherever you are shopping, which is amazing. Remember as well, there's some gorgeous card pads available for you on the show as well. Uh, and you can go for these today. This one is from the Farmhouse Collection. A really, really lovely, uh, pretty tones there for you in that one. Uh, this one here uh, is your, this is your a matte card stock. This one is the Everyday Bright that you've got just here as well. Uh, and we also have for you as well, this one here, which is your textured cardstock in the brights as well, which is fantastic. Uh, 46 dollars is your price on those. Michelle, are you ready? We've removed the water at this point, Michelle, haven't we? Or do you need any more water? <laughs> no. Just checking. <laughs> No, you're right. Okay. That that cup of water, like it was like your you cup know, overfloweth, didn't it? It was like Mary Poppins's bag. You know, she just stuff keeps coming. There was just like so much water. <laughs> it's like someone had let out a paddling pool. It's like glug, glug, it was. Glug, 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 it glug, 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 there wasn't glug, glug, glug. that much water in there to start with, so <laughs> I don't even know where it all came from. So we will we will carry, we will soldier. <laughs> we will soldier on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're just talking a bit about it, again about your reaction. Oh, Michelle, I we've only got. I thought I did really well. I think you did. Yeah. <laughs> you could have said th a lot worse things. <laughs> oh, we sugar. have only got about thirty-five minutes left though. Now on this craft along. Well, that's okay because we'll, I will carry on. I'm done. <laughs> Finish that's early. It. Okay. <laughs> so um, we'll just carry on as if I'm going to go to the next step. So what I was going to do with that piece is I was going to put it to the side for those paint splashes to dry. While those paint splashes were dry, mine are going to take a little bit longer to dry than yours. Oh, so okay. Linda said, Jo, if you'd have been crafting long, she could have used yours. Oh, Didn't yeah. think of that, did we? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. So what we're going to do is, so what we'll, we'll carry on doing what we was going to do. And we're going to bring in, so another piece of white card, piece of black card, and our glitter card. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in that other die. So this one, this is for the bottom. So the deco swirl frame. So let's get this out. And so we're just going to use this piece for now and I'm going to cut out onto um, a piece of white card. So these are absolutely one of my most favourite things. Um, these frames, they're just so, well, they're pretty much perfect for everything. You can just bob them on anything. Laura May says, I say much worse when I spill. Well done. I, I know, I do apologise. I'm so sorry for that. But I'm so proud of myself for only saying that. <laughs> I'm even more proud of myself than I was when I did my first reveal and it looked fabulous. <laughs> in fact, what I'm going to do is once it's dried, once it's fully dried in about three days, um, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something with it. I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to rescue it and I'm going to post it and I'm going to let you know um, what I did with it. So sometimes, you know, not all is always lost. Uh, it may feel like it now, but um, <laughs> soon it won't. So, <laughs> so that is my um, frame. So I'm just going to pop out those last little bits. And we're going to um, ink this up with matching colours. We're not going to throw water on this one. This one's going to stay dry. So That is the plan. Uh, Pam E says, poor Michelle. <laughs> little tear face, little tear face, Thank little tear you. face. But like I said, I mean, I do have my original, so that's okay. We can still carry on with um, the next steps we was going to do. And like I say, I'm actually going to... Once it's dry, I'm going to see what I can do with it. See if I can uh, rescue it. I'm sure I, I think can. It might take a while to dry. <laughs> do you want me to just waft it for you? Waft Would that it. help if I just stand <laughs> over here? Maybe it will help. That's the first major shock incident we've had on Crafters TV, I think. So you will get an award for that, I reckon. And of course, you will end me. up on it. Will be all right on the night. <laughs> the TV shocking edition. <laughs> I've been on it, so uh, there you go. <laughs> oh God. Right. So we're going to bring in the same inks that we used on, um, you know, the main piece. So, um, entirely up to you. I'm going to sort of go the same. So, I'm going to do the purple and I'm going to go down just like I did before. So, I'm going to start in at the top. And we're just going to ink. And I'm definitely going to make it more purple round the top and then blend it down and out. And we don't need to worry about this bit looking too perfect because we're going to... Um, mat and layer over the middle bit. So that's my purple. Oh, missed a bit. And it's great, it looks beautiful once you've stenciled nice. through it as well. So that's the purple. And I think we'll go in with orange. No, we won't. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it in the same order. I'm gonna come in with my fuchsia first. And you don't have to if you want to go with orange next. Um, you absolutely can. And again, where they overlap creates um, a, a lovely third colour. Uh, Crafty Ange says, we now know what water reactive means. <laughs> That's going to be your wax seal gate. You know you're never going to leave that leave at any time. There's any, oh, don't knock that over. Oh, steady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it's funny because when I'm doing that at home, I have the cup really far away from me yeah. and I lean over to it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you to put a little, splash little splashes, yeah. yeah. So I have it really far away from me for that reason and I've never knocked it over. So me putting it next to me then, I didn't think anything of it. I thought I'll be fine. And it wasn't. It wasn't. So that's my orange. And again, because we're going to mat and layer over that, I don't have to be too perfect. I just want to make sure it looks nice around the edges. Um, a bit of parakeet. So. <laughs> may or may not be reviewing the tape in the gallery just to uh, see VAR. Oh, it's a great <laughs> shot, apparently. Uh, close up on the other head, straight over apparently, water everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love, um, I was concerned Michelle, but obviously my concern comes out as uh, sort of nervous laughter. Yes, normally. I'm the same. I normally laugh at people. <laughs> obviously in the nicest way. Yeah, in the nicest way. But, but you do. Um, I think it's a natural reaction sometimes. So um, a bit of yellow next, so my lemon tonic. So again, I'm still using my water reactives. Um, and at least we know now 
that they react with lots of water, not just a little bit. Oh, I tell you what though, it did look pretty the way all the colours swam across the page. <laughs> and then a little bit of this at the bottom. And again, you don't have to do these colours. I'm doing these because they match in with... Um, oh no, they don't, because I don't have a project anymore. So they don't match, they're matching with my original <laughs> project. So that is my inky bit there. So then what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring in this and my die set again. So just bear with me while I find what I've done. Oh, it's there. Oh. Cheryl says, I heard a tiny violin playing whilst Joseph wafted the poor project. <laughs> I heard a huge one playing. Did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can say though, of all the years I've been crafting, that's the first time Is it's it? happened. Yeah, you know, live on air. Yeah, I mean, not in the privacy. One of the teams. I mean, you didn't pour it over someone else, or you know, I've, 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 we've had worse. We have had much worse. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> it, you'll not be the first, and you'll not be the last. The wax seal wax was, was seal. Yeah, it was really that's bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah um. Debbie Robinson uh, had a very, very funny moment with a string pull technique once upon a time. I remember. Well. I remember. Well, I remember seeing her doing it, and she did it absolutely beautiful. It looked amazing. And then I remember seeing that one, and it was like, <laughs> couldn't have been further from her practice ones <laughs> if she tried. <laughs> uh, it just happens. Some look, no one's immune from it. it just every now and then. Oh. Yeah, these things happen. What can you say? It's live TV, folks. I do. So, I've used um, this one to cut that out, and then I'm going to use. So, there's another lovely little mat in the middle, um, and then we're going to cut that out. But what I'm going to do before I do is we're going to stamp the sentiment. So I want to make sure that I use one of the sentiments that's going to fit in the middle of this. And I know that You Give Me Wings does. So we're going to stamp that out first. In the future, whenever someone nearly spills water on something, they'll be saying, careful, don't be doing a Michelle. <laughs> that's how it'll go from now. <laughs> there could be worse things that I'm known for. <laughs> you're just spreading a bit of festive cheer, aren't you, Michelle? That's, that's what it. you're doing. <laughs> Is there so, any water into Maura's craft? Um, if there was, there's not now. Right, okay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so, just picking that up, and I'm going to go in with um, my black. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's there. So, I'm going to use my um, quick dry uh, black for this. So inking that up lovely. You can go in with any of your blacks. It absolutely doesn't matter for this because it's just a sentiment. We're not adding any water to it, um, any <laughs> inks or anything like that. So I'm going to give that another inking up because I want it a bit darker than that. So perfect. Take that off there and move that. I'm just going to wipe my fingers of ink. See, that's me worrying about getting ink on my um, project. I should have been worrying about getting water on my projects. So, so we're going to um, put that just around it exactly where to make that sit in the middle. And then We'll cut this out as well. Uh, any questions or comments you've got, get them into me. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion, over <laughs> on YouTube. We're nearly there, Michelle. We're nearly there. Don't worry. We're nearly there. I think you've earned a slice of Vianetta after this show. 100%. A slice or a whole one? Oh, maybe a whole one. Why not? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, you know, you know, I like to show you how things can go wrong and how we can rectify it. 
So um, watch this space. Let's see what I can do with that project. So I'm going to glue this on. I'm going to use my um, tacky glue for this because I'm gluing onto glitter. So we want it to have that nice grab. Oh, I can, I can hear exactly what my husband and my kid, you know my husband shouted the kids down and he's rewound it and he's like, look what mum did. <laughs> and they'll be like, he's, can't believe he that's the first time she's done say. it. Oh, is he not? <laughs> he hasn't. Is there anything to say just yet? From just what yet. <laughs> he's probably still laughing. Right, so this I'm going to put on foam pads because I want this raised. Um, and because I'm going on to glitter, what I always do is once I've put my foam pads on, I will then go on to, um, not because I'm going on to glitter, sorry, because I'm going on to this where I've inked it. Sometimes you can find that your foam pads um, don't stick brilliantly. And said, uh, everyone I love along, that. do they now have to spill water on their project? Was that part of the step-by-step -step tutorial? <laughs> yeah, I want to see <laughs> if they've done it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've backed it with some wet glue just to help it stick because I've inked that um, card up. So there we go. So let me just put my pin in there. So move all my mess to the sides. Right, so this is six by four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in so my black card. I'm going to mat it onto that and I'm going to cut that down so that will fit on it. But I'm going to cut it down so it's a little bit bigger. So if that's six by four, I'm going to cut it at six and two eighths by four and two eighths. So four and two eighths by six and two eighths and there we go so I'm quite happy with that maybe uh, is it was it Sherry said we need to reinvent a travel cup with a hole for a paintbrush oh of so if course. you knocked it over you'd only get a little bit of seepage yeah <laughs> that's a great idea maybe a water brush going forward yeah yes oh yeah why didn't I think of that? Oh, now you tell me, Joe. <laughs> bit late now. <laughs> so this was six and two eighths by four and two eighths. So the glitter is going to be six and a half by four and a half. So and then so as always, I'm going to bring that in, make sure it's exactly how I want it. And it is. So we'll mat and layer this up. So because we've got coated, so I've used our Centura Pearl Black. If you've used our normal black, um, you don't necessarily, you can pick which glue you want to stick with that. But um, because I'm going onto glitter and then this is going onto um, Centura Pearl, I'm going to use the tacky again. Because it's got a coating, this is, I feel, the best glue for the job. Oh. I missed my card totally then. So, you know, if you are gluing it, you try and hit your card. There we go. So, I'm just going to bring in this and just give it a burnish, and then this is going to go on. So, I'm going to um, dotty tape pen for these edge bits. And then I'm going to use a bit of the wet glue on the middle bits. You know when you were younger and you'd done something wrong and you knew your mum were going to find out and you didn't want to go home? It's a bit well, like no, that now. Because I, I was very well behaved. Oh, were well, you? Yeah. No, it's just me then. Not. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> so, and you knew what they were going to say. It's a bit like that. So when I ring Ben, uh, my husband, after the show, I'm sort of know what he's going to say so I don't really want to ring him 
<laughs> and what's he going to say? Well, when he stops laughing, he's going to say to me, I told you not to have it so close to you. <laughs> Haven't I told you not to do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lynn says, uh, the lovely Lynn from Essex says, we use non-spill pots in school. Perhaps I need to send one to the studio for you, Michelle. Yes. That would be oh, very, with my very name helpful. on it. That would be very helpful, <laughs> Lynn. If you could... Um, I obviously don't advocate in stealing from the workplace, but we oh, could no. use one, is what I would say. <laughs> so that's my bottom piece, and it's, it's as um, wide... So I'm going to bring this piece in. So this is my one from before. <laughs> what? <laughs> You said, that's my bottom piece, it's <laughs> wide. That's what you just said. And then you just it's moved as on. Wide as that, my this bottom. is my bottom piece, it's wide. That's my bottom piece and it's wide. Sorry. You know, giggling. I've got to We're having a very giggly show today. <laughs> I, um, I'm just at that point, you know what you think? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with, I mean, I don't know um, how far you lovelies have got. We was just about to stamp. So this would have dried, mine not so much, and we're going to bring this beautiful fairy in. So we was going to, obviously once this had dried, we would take her off and with whichever black that you wanted to go in with. So one of the main reasons that I wanted to go over the, this in the midnight blue was because when I stamped her in the black, she would really pop. So you've sort of got those two shades of that darkness going on there. So we would have gone in and we would have stamped her up as many times to get as much as that blackness there. As you can see, my um, acrylic that I used has dried lovely. It's got that lovely um, speckle on there. And then with this, so what we would do is, so my white piece that I cut down is six by six. So I will cut along with you again, um, even though I don't need mine. Do you want it? Do you want to, I, I mean, <laughs> I think you could, uh, you could probably, I mean, I'm Is not sure it idea. I'm not sure it'll stick to anything. No. But, I mean, you could cut it down just for, for the sake of it. I, I think when, when that dries, I'm definitely going, um, I'm going to make a project with it just to show you, uh, <laughs> you can rescue anything. So, um, so we've got six by six, so this is going to be six two by six two. So six two by six two. And then we're going to come in with the purple. And this is going to be six far by six far. So it's six and a half by six and a half. Yes, yep. sorry. So right. six and two eighths and then six and a half. Yep. Six and a quarter, six and a half. Yes. I don't know why I can't say it like that. So much simpler. So let's just move this again. At least Michelle isn't drunk with colouring water, is what Thea says. That is true. <laughs> so we will we'll glue uh, those fact, together. In fact, maybe if you drank a bit, you'd have been all right. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, it was um, I, I got John to get me the. We'll blame John. No. Yeah, I normally only put a little bit in the bottom and, and John just filled it up. So I don't know if he thought I wanted a drink of water. Um, but we'll blame John. OK, let's blame John. Ooh, backlash incoming, Michelle, no doubt. <laughs> I know. No, um, it was definitely just me being clumsy. But on the good side is my watch is loose. Right. And I, I've got it on the same thing. And this morning I was thinking, I've lost weight. My watch is loose. I need to put it onto the next notch. Yeah. So, you know, one good thing is I've lost some weight and my watch is loose. There you go. Um, Reason to so, be cheerful. You know, bright side and everything. I mean. Say. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can see that once I get my image on there, they're going to be exactly the same width. Um, so I will bring the one in that I've already... Um, I've just dismantled it a little bit so we could carry on doing it together. Um, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in some... Uh, I've got some blue... Um, it's quite thick. It's an inch thick ribbon. You can use absolutely any ribbon you want or you can use a little bit of string. And we're just going to make it into a little, a little hangy thing. So as you can see, I've just pulled my corners up so I could take this off. So I could redo it with you because that's the whole point of obviously of the craft along. So I'm just going to get my um, tape pen. I'm just going to put a bit of tape there uh, and there. 
and once I've taped this down, then I went over with this backing piece. So it just gives it that extra, extra um, glue down, that extra security there. But I'm just going to leave mine like that for now. But what I would have done is just cut another piece exactly the same size. Uh, you could actually do it in the pattern at the, if you wanted, so the black and the uh, glitter. And it just, once it's glued, then you know it's, it's stuck down and it tidies your back bits up. Uh, and then again, so I've just got two pieces of ribbon and I'm going to hang those. We're going to stick those on like that. So, I mean, you can measure these, you know, if you want them to be exactly the same. Um, I've sort of lost the will a little bit, so they're going to go where they want. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I, I use, this is what I use my glass mat for. So I'm measuring things up. I'm going to put them exactly there and I'm going to line this one up exactly. So I know that if I'm careful enough and I just lay that gently there and press it down, it's exactly where I want it to be. And I've brought that in that half an inch and I'm going to lay that there, that half an inch. So for me, there we go, look. Now give them a, a press down. So again, I would bring in another piece just to cover the back, uh, make it all nice and tidy. And then when you turn it round, you've got that beautiful finished effect on there. So, um, now we're done. <laughs> so, uh, what you can do, so you can, I've got, I have got my, this is what I brought my, um, just bear with me, let me find my clear gems, which is what I brought, oh, have I brought them with me? Um, so, I forgot mine, but you know those dew drops that we've got? Um, it's those that I was putting on there and I was just going to randomly the really small ones just dot them round on here I, I did have some these ones oh do you have some well I've only got blue or yellow or orange ones oh I love those yeah those color yeah those colors will go in beautifully okay make sure I get them back yeah yeah you can yeah <laughs> I will oh, thanks don't knock any water over them I will. <laughs> It's right over there. I can't even reach it. <laughs> so far away from me. So what I'm going to do is with these, just the smallest ones. So the tiniest size on there, I'm just going to randomly just bob a few around. And these colours are perfect actually because they tie in with the colours on there. So one. And I'm, I'm just putting them where I fancy. No particular placing, but I'm only going to put three of each colour on. So there's those three and I'm going to do three blue. So these colours actually are perfect from that kit. So let's put that one right up there. And this is just again, just where you fancy putting them. But the dewdrop ones look lovely. It makes it look almost like, would you believe, dewdrops. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe it's not dewdrops. <laughs> So I've got three, three, so yellow. So I'm going to do three yellow and then I think I'm done. And again, this is another fun bit, just doing things like this. You don't have don't to have forget, uh, another show coming up later as well for you, launch party. Myself and Michelle will be here. Uh, any water, any water <laughs> colouring, is there any water in the set on the later no. show? No. No? Excellent. No, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. on the East Coast, uh, 11 a.m. West Coast. Uh, we'll have lots of products for you in that as well. It's going to be a fun couple of hours. So that's me done for now. But what I did do, or what you can do, is when I inked this in the black first, if you don't like that little line that's across there and there, you can either bob a little bit of ribbon across there or put your gems there um, or take your stencil up and then either use your black classic just to colour in those lines and then put it back down and then go over with your blue your midnight it just gets rid of those um those lines if you don't really like them there but um i think that's pretty much done fabulous well done michelle good save we're going to start calling her how we're going to, there's going to be a whole host of nicknames ready for you by the later <laughs> show um i can't wait for that 
Uh, right, let me take you back through then the collection. If you don't own the collection, it's not too late to go for this. Uh, we will send this out to you. You can watch this back, show back at any time you like, which is fantastic. Uh, so you'll be able to come back and watch it whenever these arrive. There's six different designs in here for you, which is brilliant. So you've got, you are the one, which this is uh, this one just here. So you've got uh, the couple there having a little bit of a kiss under the umbrella. Uh, sentiments for you there too. And lots of stencils in each of those. You see four different stencils there in that one. This one here is Magic in Your Heart, uh, which is the one that Michelle just poured all of her water over. Um, <laughs> Out. Yeah, no, <laughs> the one Michelle just drowned. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm joking. So you've got the uh, fairy on the toad, so you've got the flying fairy as well, the sentiments there too. And also, some, a lot of you saying different ways to use these. You don't need to use all of this together at the same time. You split them down. Uh, a lot of you saying this would make a great Halloween scene, just the trees, if you wanted to use them like that. The next one we've got for you is this one here, Believe in Yourself. So uh, what you've got in here is you've got the, um, the turtle, the mermaid, the turtle, the mermaid and the dolphin, your sentiments as well. Again, really, really cool. And also don't think about just putting ink pads through here. Remember, you can spritz through these, you can use your paste through these if you want to. Loads of different things that you're gonna be able to do in loads of different ways of using them. This one here is Beautiful Moments. So you've got the cat, the little girl, the swing, the dog, they're all separated for you as well. So you can really build these up and create your own scene, which is fantastic. Then you've got this one here, which has got the very buff, unicorn in it as uh, Michelle described it over follow your dreams uh, you've got that in there uh, you've also got this element just here as well um, and then all your sentiments too uh, and last but my name is least I was catching Michelle uh, you've got strength and love here as well oh, you've got you've got a little safari there pretty much you've got giraffes elephants um, and again all of your different uh, stencils in there for you as well which is excellent it's 56.99 or 66.50 if you want to get your hands on those. I've got a couple of ink pad collections I want to share with you. This one here is the Water Reactive ones. They are our most popular um, ink pads. Just don't spill water on them because they will react <laughs> if you do. Uh, Bordeaux, uh, orange, straw bale, plum jam, fuchsia, pink tulip, midnight, ocean blue, jet black and the parakeet in here. These have been hand selected as well to complement uh, that main item for you, those stamps and stencils, which is brilliant. Uh, we've also got the opaque pigment inks as well. These are on the show for you. Again, these colors chosen to work really well with the stencils. Uh, so you've got Chinese red, orange, lemon tonic, plum jam, fuchsia, pink tulip, misty morning, green topaz, ocean blue, and also the parakeet there for you as well. I've got some pearl card stock 12 by 12s for you. So in here, uh, you're going to get the gnome collection, as you can see there. You've also got the uh, blush, blush and bloom collection. And then you've got Paisley Pearl and the Rainbow Pearl as well. 65.99 or 74.99 there is your price on those. Got the textured ones for you as well. The Farmhouse, the b Textured Bright and the Matte Bright and the Everyday Brights in that one there. 46.99 or 58.99 if you want to get that. Um, our ever popular luxury card stock. Love these because in each pack you get 10 sheets of the mirror, 10 of the Met Mirror, Met Mirror? No, 10 of the Mirror, 10 of the Matte Mirror and 10 of the Pearlescent. Uh, and you can see you've got it in the silver, the black, and the pink there as well. Oh, sorry, silver, black, and purple are the colours that you're going to get that in just there. Right, we're going to see how our guests are getting on. Let's first pop across to Pam and see how uh, Pam is getting on. Uh, how's it going, Pam? No water disasters your end, I hope. No, no water disasters. <laughs> glad to, glad to hear it. I just have to add my ribbon. Oh. Wow, it looks amazing. Love that, Michelle, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Beautiful. So good. Really, really gorgeous, Pam. Have you enjoyed uh, crafting along with us today? I did. You did. Excellent. Well, it's lovely to have you uh, here with us on the show uh, as ever. If we don't speak to you, we'll see you before. Have an amazing Christmas, uh, and I hope you have a great New Bye. Year as well. You too, to both of you. Take Merry care. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, right, should we now see how Gilmore's getting on? Gilmore, how's it going? Did you, uh, were you concerned there when you saw Michelle's water go over? Yes, because that could easily have happened to me. Easy. I can't wait to go to the kitchen and dump mine out. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how have you found it? How have you been getting on? It's been a lot of fun. It's very, um, like you say, mindful. Um, yeah. Not done yet. 
Okay. I'm totally not done, but I did assemble this. Oh, oh nice. Love pretty. the colorway. Really and cute. I will have to send you guys pictures later. Yes, please. Excellent. Well, I tell you what you must do then, Gilmore. Uh, the moment you get it finished, you must promise you'll send us a picture and we can show it in that later at launch party show. Have yeah. you enjoyed being part of the craft along today? Thank you so much for having me on. It's been a blast. And I want to wish you both and everybody behind the camera a very Merry Christmas. Oh, and thank hope you. to see you guys in the new... Uh, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you. Merry I Christmas. hope you have a wonderful time. Eat all the food, thank drink you. all the drink. Yes. Uh, are you going to be on the naughty list or the nice list, Gilmore, do you think? Always naughty. Oh. <laughs> you and me both. I'll Love see it. you there. Uh, take care. Have a great day, Gilmore. I'll speak to you again Bye. soon. Bye-bye. Um, well, I mean, that was a very eventful, very eventful uh, craft along the show, wasn't it? As craft along goes. As craft alongs go, don't you think? I like to make sure that those watching don't forget <laughs> the show. Absolutely. I'm pretty much sure. Absolutely, we won't. But yeah. We will not forget this ever, probably this craft along. <laughs> no. It's going to go into the uh, Blooper Hall of Fame alongside <laughs> Debbie, mostly Debbie Fisher, to be honest, the Spowl, <laughs> uh, the Wax Seal. I can't think of any others off the top of my head, but I'm sure there's a few others kicking around <laughs> in the can. Uh, I want to remind you of some uh, changes that are affected from the 7th of January with a schedule. We are switching over Softer Side of Life and Colour Me Happy. So Softer Side of Life will now take place on a Friday at 3 p.m. in the UK, 10 a.m. East Coast. That will be a two-hour show. Colour Me Happy will be moving to the first slot on a Sunday, which is midday, 7 a.m. will now be a 90-minute show. That will be effective from the 7th of January. Uh, so make sure you join us for those. Don't forget also uh, about the winter sale. Remember, happening right now over on the website, new items being added every single day, and there is up to 70% off as well. So uh, really definitely worth heading over there, uh, checking it out, and making sure you're checking back daily, because there's been some really epic bargains on there. Talking of epic bargains, you're going to want to join me here tomorrow night on Crafters TV at 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, when I'm going to be joined by the boss herself. It will be my last show. I believe it will be Sarah's last show as well before Christmas. And it is a UK warehouse clearance. Uh, US customers will be able to shop from the UK warehouse clearance. I'm not sure if it deals are live now or they're up or I, I reckon you should probably be a savvy crafter and uh, use the break to go and uh, have a little snoop around the website and see what you can see. Michelle, thank you. It was eventful, but I loved it. <laughs> You're very welcome. I do try. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you to you guys uh, as well. Um, we will see you back here for that launch party show in just over two hours time. We're going to go and watch back that little uh, mishap there from, uh, from Michelle uh, and we'll see you back here in two hours time. Take care.